Legend has it there is a tree in the Amazon that possesses unparalleled healing powers. And the arrowhead is the key to unlocking it. Disney is hoping for a Pirates of the Caribbean level success with Jungle Cruise, another adventure blockbuster based on a theme park ride. In it, an intrepid scientist and a wise-cracking ship captain venture deep into the Amazon in search of a tree that can cure any disease. Our intention behind the movie was to make a movie that that was that had a a throwback feel to movies that we loved growing up. Indiana Jones, Romancing the Stone, movies like that, African Queen that came out, you know, some time ago, but movies like that that you don't see that often these days. Jungle Cruise sports thrills, actions, and mystical curses. But director Jama Coletsera, who will be working with Johnson again on the upcoming superhero movie Black Adam, makes the chemistry between the leads the foundation of the film. The great beauty of Jama is he recognizes that the intimacy of the scenes is what sings. Like he doesn't get bogged down in making things too complicated. He digs for gold and he's such a kind of world builder, but yet deep down when we both asked him, like when we first signed on, like what, what's this movie about? He goes, it's about love. The adaptation was first announced in 2004 and was set to star Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. Now, after 17 years of redevelopment and recasting, it will be the latest film to release simultaneously in theaters and on Disney Plus premiere. It all came together in this beautiful way that was a spectacle, that was epic, uh, that was adventurous, that was colorful, that told a great story, that was rooted in family, rooted in love, rooted in adventure, rooted in empowerment, rooted in hope. There's uh, so many elements uh, that, that, could, that have really made us proud. Arab News, Hollywood.